first was a sin of pride. Blinded by our ambition, we opened a door better left closed and loosed hell upon Astara. Though 700 years have passed, to my lasting sorrow, the terror continues. It began anew when the shadow wraiths descended on the peaceful village of Overwood. Dark Yabu and the shadow minions drove the defenseless villagers before them, save the aging guardian of Overwood, Vargas, and his grandson, Vex. Defiant but outnumbered, Vargas and Vex could not stand against Yabu's dark power and were bound in chains with the others. They were forced to toil in the labyrinth of tunnels surrounding their village. Slaves. Beaten by word and whip, Vex endured until his rage became unbearable. He lashed out, attacking his oppressors, but was stopped by the very shadows that answer Yabu's call. Vex would have died then, were it not for the sacrifice of his grandfather. Enraged, Yabu turned his powers on Vargas and showed no mercy. After nightfall, vowing revenge, Vex escaped the caves and made his way into the heart of Yabu's windship, intent upon destroying the Wraith. Fate, however, would grant him not revenge, but fortune. The legendary Astani War Talons. Unable to destroy the powerful artifact, Dark Yabu had hidden them away for years, fearful that they might fall into enemy hands. screamed as the Talons bound themselves to him forever, and his fate to that of all a star. Yeah! <laughs> 
Ah, back among the living, I see. You're a stout one, aren't you? When I found you, I thought you dead, so I brought you here. This chamber is where the past Talon bearers are entombed. Welcome to Timberdale, Vex. to kill. Even if you do kill one, the heart never disappears. <laughs> 